All right, I got a Solstron Nexstar SLT-130 that we're looking at tonight. And uh, the goal of this video is to show you can take a DSLR and run Prime. But there's one catch to that. And if those of you don't know what Prime means, it means just running the camera straight on with the mirrors of the scope. No eyepieces in. And this is kind of a basic reflector telescope. It actually isn't as bad as what people think, but I think you can buy this for $3.99. And it has the uh, go-to AutoStar on it. Plus this one, I got a SkySync GPS, so you just basically turn that on and go. And I'm running it off from a, you look down there, 12-volt battery. And I do have it a three-star alignment on. And this scope is probably not collimated very well, if at all. And if you were to look down in, even the mirrors got some dust in it. Not too bad though. But, like I said, the goal is to run and show viewers you can run Prime. And how you do that is with that camera right there. And this is a mirrorless Sony and this is the low light king this is a sony a7s and why you're able to run prime with a mirrorless camera is your image sensor is right smack in the front where the other ones it's farther back so you can't get enough enough uh, close focus with the camera when you're not running uh, mirrorless when you have a mirror in the way now the hardest part i had had was to find a t-ring right here and this is for a NEX that's a FE mount full-size Sony image sensor and I will put a link in for this but this is a lifesaver this is cheap and it's only one I've ever been able to find for a Sony a7s so now what I'm gonna do is hook the Sony up to this mount and show you and it's actually quite simple on these SLT 130 you're just going to unscrew the one and a half inch adapter for your uh, one and a half inch eyepiece like that and set that off to the side and we're going to take that T-mount and screw that on and then you can loosen these up to lock it on your camera find that red red there heard it lock I'm going to tighten that down, I hope, tight. Now we're going to turn the camera on and try to get focused. It should be following the moon, and it is. Now we got all that dust from that desert from wherever, past Africa in a way. Okay, it's pretty moist out, but there we are. I have the moon in my crosshairs. And I'm at only 160 ISO. And I still have some more forward focus if uh, people don't realize. I can literally go in about a half an inch. If you look there. And right there is focused. Now we'll switch over to the Sony A7S to show you some footage of it. All right, that is the moon. Full frame, no eyepieces or anything in it. That's me walking in front of it. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to go into uh, crop mode. All right, we got some clouds coming in, so I'm in crop mode right now, but this is what you can expect with this thing. I would like to put a lens in, but I don't think it's going to make it because clouds are just now touching the moon. Right now the moon's about half covered with a haze of clouds. And I don't think they're going away. What I want to do is shoot over to Jupiter and see how, what that looks like. So let's do that. Actually, even with the clouds, let's go into uh, a 25 millimeter eyepiece. 
Let's just show you a 25 millimeter eyepiece in. But, and that's with a cloud cover too now on the moon. But maybe we'll move over to Jupiter and see. Let's see if we can find it. Right there's Jupiter with a 25 millimeter eyepiece. Now, if I were to turn my ISO up, you're going to see the moons. Put at 64,000 ISO. Now what I want to do is put a 9 millimeter in and see what that looks like. We'll find out here, okay? It's going to be hard to find it though, I think. I could be wrong. Right here is this little SLT-130 with Jupiter. Look at that jar. That's a planet. You can barely see the lines on it in the, the clouds. Is that neat or what? Mm -hmm. And that would be Jupiter. I'm going to get a shot of this. But that is Jupiter with a 9 millimeter lens. Let me see if we can't get to Saturn. Saturn will be right below it. You might be able to hit go to, being as this thing's right on the money now. Okay, right there is Saturn. Now I got to turn my ISO down so we can see the rings. We'll let this thing set, but we're going to have to zoom in. I'm going to go into crop mode. All right, that's Saturn. Let's try to get it more in the center of the screen. And right there is Saturn with a 9 millimeter. Pretty awesome. All I want to do is show you uh, what you're capable of doing running Prime, but then running this consider this a bonus just showing you what a nine millimeter will do with planets and stuff so let's scoop back over the moon with the nine millimeter i'm going to see if it'll hit it solar system I'm going back over to the moon right now that is with a Terrible haze over the moon of clouds. You're not even seeing 100% clear. Let me see if I can't move this. Imagine how clear that would be if it was uh, no clouds in the way. With uh, I'll I want to show you the setup of the eyepiece in, and then we're done. All right, there's where I'm saying I, I got an eyepiece that nine millimeter right in here. This piece screws right in to the T-ring and this piece screws in to the camera. And it's a typical uh, setup that you'll find. One is this will slide out like so. Eyepiece is inside this one. I'll show you that real quick. Eyepieces right here. That was the nine millimeter. And here's the T ring for the camera. This slides in. The eyepiece will go inside that. Tighten it down. And this slides in here. And the camera's there. It just screws on there. And away you go. And for prime. This piece comes off where, like I said, all any mirrored cam or mirror mirrored camera, this ain't isn't happening. This piece screws right on the front of your focuser. And normally you can't go in far enough with a mirrored camera, whether it's a, a full frame or not, you can't get in far enough. But the mirrorless, as you saw there, it works great for Prime. So there you go. I got a aperture, aperture or a D12, 12 inch Epsonian reflector coming. So stay tuned for that.